What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So it is all culminated to this. This is the 2016 Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Finals. It's showing a quick pan of the audience. It's a pretty nice turnout for an event that, you know, doesn't have everyone who can duel. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! players up in there. Superman cosplay, maybe? Okay, thought we saw Superman cosplay. I'm pretty stoked that America is in the finals. We got Eric Christensen, who, uh, I mean, he won... U.S. Nationals with uh, Effect Veiler, maybe? A Veiler is just going to be so big in this match. <laughs> There's that Veiler. Um, you have Eric Christensen, who won U.S. Uh, North, Amer or North American Nationals with Domain Monarchs. You've got Shunsuke Hiyama, who is last year's champion. So this is going to be pretty historic. Let's see exactly what's going to go down. Um... You're either going to have someone going back to back or you're going to have Eric Christensen who will give United States their first win. And, I mean, this guy will be the U.S. national, he'll be the, what's it called, the U.S. national winner or, excuse me, North American national winner. And then you'll have him also winning worlds in the same year. That's pretty damn impressive. And, uh, well, we, I mean, well, I don't, I'm not going to say I predicted Blue Eyes winning because I did and I thought Pendulum was going to win, but... This might be the beginning of the reign of Blue Eyes. So Kaiba better than Yugi confirmed, even though uh, <laughs> even though maybe it didn't go down like that in the match. All right, so let's see. Shunsuke has Twin Twisters. He has Phoenix from One Blast. I do think that um, I don't know how this mirror match goes. I, I'd be honestly lying if I told you that I have studied up on the Blue Eyes mirror match. I'd have to imagine that a Vec Veiler is really good in this match. Um, I don't think white I don't think white spirit dragon does much of anything. Yeah, I really don't think so. Alright, there's alternative dragon. Okay, and there's ancient stone. And he's just going into battle phase. He's like, ah, I know I know that we don't play battle traps. I know that you don't play honest. Let's go. Just going straight into battle phase. Attacks twice and there's that first damage. Looks like an easy three thousand. Oh, no, wait, excuse me, a little more than that. Oh, wait, Sage, or, does Sage even have attack? I feel like Sage might have zero attack. Yeah, I think Sage actually has zero attack. Okay. There you go, that Synchro Summon of Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. During the end phase, he'll probably get a free copy of Blue Eyes because of his White Stone. And Shunsuke still has Melody of the Awakening Dragon and Blue Eyes. All right, there's a free blue eyes, and man, that field is this is pretty big, man. He already has game on board, technically. When I say game on board, I mean if uh, Eric doesn't respond, he can literally just kill him with those two monsters. So this is not a great situation. Eric has Silver Cry, and he has a Veiler. He has Return and Cards. This is a wow. That's good lord. That's the most dead hand he could possibly have. Um, he can't use Return because he has no dragons. He can't use Card of Continence. He can't use Veiler because there's nothing to Veiler. And he can't use Silver Scribe because that's a Blue Eyes card. Uh, or at least it's a card that, yeah, it's a card that summons like, you know, Blue Eyes from the Grave or whatever, or like a normal monster. <clears throat> All right, so it's not looking so good. He needs to top deck like White Stone. God, I think he just top deck another card of Consonance. Oh my goodness. This is, oh man, USA rip. This is not good. Yeah, he might just set and pass if. If Shunsuke, if Shunsuke, first off, he can Twin Twister that. Uh, he uses Phoenix with one blast. All right, game's over. He can just literally put both monsters in attack mode and just kill him. Um, keep in mind, he had Twin Twisters as well. So that's just game. He has game on board. Um, you don't expect anybody to be playing Gores and Blue Eyes. I guess they could, but you don't even need to do any. All the stuff that he's doing doesn't even need to be done. He could just attack with both monsters and just win. Summons Alternative Dragon, puts everything in attack mode in case of Gores, and uh, they're going to game two. And that was a complete blowout in game one. Let me see the crowd reaction. Yeah, wow. All right. Oopsie. Oh, hold on. Okay, I think I, I clicked live, my bad. I clicked live and it skipped ahead. My apologies. My apologies. I clicked live and it like skipped ahead. But we saw game one and they're, they haven't gone to game two yet. I was going to say, I am pretty much watching this live. I think I may have skipped like 20 seconds of... Uh, I think I may have actually like, skipped like 20 seconds. Okay, so my apologies if that actually looks kind of weird. But I don't really think it changes much of anything. Alright, so they're both shuffling. 
Do you go first or second in the Blue Eyes Mirror match? See, I don't think, like, you think going opening with Sage is good, but then you're, like, your opponent can Valor it and you just don't get anything out of Sage. And Sage is, like, just sitting on the field just waiting to get, like, ran over by a Blue Eyes. And these decks don't run any traps. So what is the, what is going in the side? All right. So Eric Christensen, I think, pointed to himself, meaning that he probably wants to go first. Dude, if uh, if we if the USA loses, if we get both silver medals, that would be kind of embarrassing. Looks like he cited an anti-spell fragrance, which could be kind of good. Uh, if you're able to make like a spirit dragon and then get like anti-spell out, that could definitely slow down Shunsuke. Looks like Shunsuke might have a master in his hand. I think he has. A, I think he has a blue eyes and a return. I, I wonder how much. Blue Eyes is going to go up in popularity because of it winning this event. Oh, no. He has double anti-spell fragrance soldier. Oh, my God. This is terrible. He bricked twice. Oh, my God. This is... the Oh, God. This is just... Rip USA. I'm sorry. He better draw something good off of that upstart. He drew an alternative. Oh, is that a spirit dragon or an alternative? This is, like, the worst thing possible. This hand is so damn bricky. Uh, I, I'm. I think I just. Oh man, I, I think I just gotta call this. Well, maybe he, maybe anti spell fragrance can help him, but then he better set soul charge and all that stuff too. So he sets everything. I thought he was setting one card. I was like, how's he setting his monster? Anti spell fragrance is flipped immediately. It would actually be really good if he got twin twister because <laughs> his cards are so dead. Um, God, I don't really know what he can do here. All right, so it's gonna be somewhat of a grind game. Shunsuke has Ally of Justice Cycle Reader. I guess that's what they're citing. Uh, if Eric Christensen wins this match, or if he wins this game, I'll eat my hat. I think he got a White Stone, actually. I think he may have top deck the White Stone, which he sets. Okay. I wish they would go back to Shunsuke, which they apparently just don't want to do. They don't want to show the field for the freaking finals, because looking at Eric Christensen is so much better than knowing what the heck is going on. Now I have to turn the volume up to know what the freak is going on. Holy moly, I'm tilted. Alright, so it looks like he may have gotten a copy of Sage as his top deck. and I think that he summoned it, and that thumbs up was uh, probably Eric Christian saying, you got the effect, it's good. Um, Anti-Spell Fragrance does make this game more skillful. It slows the pace of the game down to a screeching halt. I was just looking at Christians in hand, and I just think that it's it was so terrible. And double anti-spell fragrance is not bueno. Although Shunsuke's ally justice, uh, ally of justice cycle reader is super dead right now because Eric Christian doesn't have anything in his graveyard worth using it on. So the blue eyes in his hand is looking, yeah, it's looking all right, I guess. He looks like he searched out a white stone. Does he have a card of consonants? Is that what he's looking to do? I think he has a card of consonants. Alright, so he is, I think, playing card of consonants. Drawing a couple of cards. Ugh, okay, I gotta turn the volume up. These idiots don't know how to show a good camera angle. Oh my god, they actually changed the camera angle. Like, they're not they're not fully retarded. Okay, so he played card of consonants. And looks like he should be, during the end phase, trying to get out the spirit dragon. Alright, so there's the spirit dragon. He doesn't attack. Is he gonna go after anti-spell maybe he's like all right this is annoying i'm just gonna get rid of this card he's targeting a random card it's soul charge there goes your sack card man yeah this is not looking so hot right now for um eric christensen i mean you just got a feel for him because it's not like he's made any misplays or anything he just he literally just opened with just the brickiest of brick hands like you never want to open with double anti-spell for one anti-spell fragrance could have been really good if he was able to open up with like an alternative plus like a sage, get into his core plays, get into like a synchro, that would have been really good. But when you open with like double anti spell fragrance soul charge and you have like no monsters engraved, no plays, it's like this is just terrible. And this is what sometimes sways people away from playing blue eyes. But if other decks in the meta get hit, blue eyes might defaultly become the meta. I think he picked up a card of consonants, but obviously he cannot activate it because uh, anti spell fragrance is on the field. And it looks like the first player who will get the chance to synchro is probably going to be Shunsuke. So, all right, looks like they're talking to Shunsuke. 
and I think they're just asking him about the set cards. Yeah, I think they're just asking him about the set cards. I'm not sure what they're asking him. All right, looks like card of consonants was just set. Oops, there we go. Card of consonants was just set. Looks like he wants to crash his stone. Man, that's uh, it takes a lot of damage, man. He wants to crash his stone into into what's it called? Into the white spirit dragon. Um, okay, it takes a bunch of battle damage, but at least he gets a card in the graveyard. Oh, I have just a cycle reader before he. Oh man, this is just this is hard to watch. I, I turned. I was turning the volume up to try and hear if the crowd reacted. Uh, you gotta. You, I mean, you gotta know that this is happening in North America, so obviously they're gonna be pro Eric Christensen. But I'm fine with our with our boy losing. But you know, not like this. Not like when he just gets a terrible hand. He just can't do anything. And he wanted to get his White Stone or his Ancient Stone in the grave, but he's not able to do that because of Cycle Reader trade in for Blue Eyes draws a couple of cards, Dragon Shrine, and Vanity's Emptiness. Oh boy. Vanity's emptiness may absolutely assure this victory. Okay, so I thought maybe he would synchro summon at this point, but I guess he's not ready to. See, this is why you gotta side in those those mirror forces, man. The unexpected drowning mirror force comes in and it's a blowout card. Eric Christensen has uh, Dragon Spirit of White in his hand and nothing else. No trade ins to get it in the grave. Uh, no way of summoning it back. And Shunsuke just has he he just has all the playable monsters, so he plays Master. He's able to get his his stone back. There's the Synchro play, eight plus one equals nine. And there's Spirit Dragon. All right, then activates Return. Ah, uh, this could be game. Yeah, I think this could be game. I think that Silver's Cry. No, that's Return. That gets blasted. Looks like he's going for another nine. I think he might just double up here, honestly. He does double up. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Oh my goodness. And that, yeah, that, that's gonna clean him out. Another anti-spell bluff. And he needs to do nothing more than simply enter battle phase. And that is GG. And congratulations to Shunsuke. That 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 was pretty savage, man. Congratulations to Eric Christensen, but uh, Shunsuke was number one today. World Championship. Wow. Can't believe that. This guy has just did it. All right. <laughs> he puts the two in the, in the, in the air. Yeah, he was able to, I mean, he's just able to do so much damage in like one turn. Two times, baby. Two times. Thank you guys for watching as always.